All right. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Um, or whenever you're watching this. So this is some updates for government, okay? I am recording this on Thursday the 26th. So these are the updates as I know of today, all right? So if other things supersede this or if I send more updates that um, that outdate this or something like that or, you know, that make this dated, um, please go with the most current information. But my goal is to help get us back on track. I know some people have access, some people don't. So whether you're watching this in class, through Canvas, if you're watching on YouTube, I'm gonna try to get you as much information as possible to get us through the weekend. And then Monday the 30th, we'll kind of start fresh and kind of go from there, all right? Um, Because I know some people have access, some people don't. And um, so we're all just trying to navigate this hard time. So first of all, take a deep breath, okay? I, I know this has been stressful. So when someone says, don't stress, you're like, don't say that. But what I mean by that is don't worry about being penalized for anything, okay? So my goal today is to help reassure you that um, I've extended due dates, that you're not being penalized for the last two weeks, okay? Um, and everyone will have an opportunity to get back on track. Um, and so I've extended um, a lot of things. So I just wanna communicate that. So if we can take a deep breath and we'll just pick up where we left off as best as possible. Cause like you, I've been in the dark and it's been a very frustrating week and a half, right? So I'm right there with you. So in the announcements um, in Canvas, um, I, in our class shell, um, I'm gonna post this. So I've done this in period two. I'm gonna do this in all the periods by the end of the day. So like you, I am just got back to access. So I'm trying to get everything updated the best that I can. Um, and so, so obviously we haven't had class this week, okay? So the goal this week is, like I've sent out through email and remind and stuff, is to finish the module three lesson two Supreme Court case project. So last time we met was two weeks ago and we worked on module two, or sorry, module three lesson two, all right? Um, that are due is if you haven't already turned in module three lesson two, you need to get that notebook in. We did that completely in class the week before this all shut down, right? We did this the week of 10, 10 through 10, 13. So we did that in class. You need to take that assessment. Okay. And again, I provided that review sheet, or you can find that on the week 10 live session page. And then we went over the Supreme Court case project. Okay. This was originally supposed to be due last week, but again, everything that happened, this has been extended. Okay. So you should have module three lesson two done. If you don't, then you need to go back to week 10, watch those videos. We did that in class. Okay. So we did that in class. That was before all this shut down. And those videos are posted on the week 10 live session page. Also the review sheet is on the week 10 live session page. Okay. So those you are still accountable for because we did those in class and during a normal school week. If you haven't gotten those in, then I'm going to show you the extended um, due dates today or for the rest of this week. So if you're meeting with me, then you'll have time to work on this. Or if you can't log in, um, I will be sending this basic slide um, or information in an email and in a remind here by the end of the day, okay? So I have two options for you. I have the Supreme Court Case Project, the Google Slides attached, and then the Supreme Court Case Project Word PowerPoint attached, okay? So if you're having any issues, if you can get into Canvas, but you're having issues with the, the Google Drive and stuff, then it's the same document just in a, a Word PowerPoint so that you can open it up. OK, and here in a minute, then we'll go over the Supreme Court uh, case project again and give you time to work. So for this week, the goal is to continue working on the Supreme Court case project and getting that in. OK, and I will go over those instructions again. That project is due on this coming Monday, the 30th. OK, so originally it was going to be due last Friday, the 17th. But again, because of all the issues and stuff on um, stuff, I've extended it. We did go over it in class two weeks ago. So that's gonna give you um, some time, all right? Um, and I'll go over the instructions again today. What I did was I extended all the due dates that were supposed to close in the last week and a half. So module three, lesson one, um, that was originally supposed to close. It was due on 10-10, I've extended it to 11-10. So it will close on November 10th, okay? So we did this a couple weeks ago, all right? So it should be done, but if you didn't get it done, then I'm extending that extra on um, those two weeks so that you have time to get it in um, and stuff. So extending that window if you didn't have access to Canvas, okay? Also the quiz, okay? Um, so originally they were due on 10-10, so this was the week before everything went down. So remember how I usually give you two weeks, one more week than NBLA, so that double time. So this will provide that double time. Okay. Also the module three lesson two. So the notebook and the quiz, 
Again, those were due before everything shut down and we did them in class the week before. But if for some reason you didn't get them in or you haven't done them, then you have lots of time. OK, so you have till November 17th before they will close. These close dates are going to be for good. All right. Because, again, I'm extending more than the two weeks and beyond because of um, these tech issues. OK, so these are the new due dates, the new closure dates, double the time. Supreme Court case project, it's due on the 30th, so it'll close on the 17th of November. All right, so questions on extensions or due dates. I know we only have a couple of you here. Does this make sense? Can you give me a thumbs up if this makes sense or am I not clarifying something or um, because if I need to go back over it or anything like that. Okay, so it makes sense. Okay, so again, this is the extension, okay? So ask me for another extension. This has already been re-extended, right? In case you've been cut, shut out. And a lot of these are more than two weeks. So like the Supreme Court case project, it's more than two weeks for sure. Module three, lesson one, more than two weeks, but all of them, all right? So really just trying to give lots of time and give people time to get back on track, all right? Next week, we're gonna start module three, lesson three. So we'll start our new lesson, notebook, and I will go over these again, just to reiterate. So for this week, what should I be focusing on? Getting the Supreme Court case project done, that's worth a lot of summative points. And then any of this past due stuff, um, getting that in, okay? Because um, I've extended the deadlines, but getting those in, because these were all due before everything shut down. So you wanna make sure that you get those in, and then next week we start fresh, okay? Attendance is going to start on um, Monday, okay? So be again, because so many people are having tech issues and stuff like that, the school is gonna start attendance on Monday the 30th. So for this week, don't worry about attendance, your attendance forms, things like that, but Monday the 30th, then we need to get back to normal. So logging in Monday, doing your attendance form, attending class, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, following the normal schedule next Friday. There is no school tomorrow, right? It's Nevada day um, and stuff. So again, don't worry about attendance this week or if you, you weren't able to log in, don't freak out. Okay, any questions so far? There's only a couple of us here, but let me know. Because if you're thinking something, then somebody else probably will too. So it's good if you bring something up because I'm, I'm sure there's going to be things I forget. Because like all of you, I've been really overwhelmed. Okay, so I definitely understand where you're coming from. Okay, so what I want to do is spend a couple minutes just going back over the Supreme Court case project then. All right, because this is the focus. This was the learning opportunity I sent last week. I'm sending it out this week. And again, we went over this the week before all this happened. So I have gone over this. Um, and then you were supposed to have last week to work on this before it was due. Then we had all these tech ne network issues. So um, you should have been working on it. If you haven't, then you have time and it's due on Monday. OK, this isn't something we're going to be working on in class next week. OK, because I have sent out directions via remind, email, posting them in Canvas. Um, and again, I'm going to post this video and then send it out to everybody and then two different links, OK, that you can use um, depending if Google's working for you or if PowerPoint is better. OK, so the first thing you're supposed to do, right, is background. OK, so you need to pick. Sorry, I got ahead of myself. OK, so first thing you have to do is you have to pick a case. All right. So you pick a case. Um, if Google Docs is working for you, then you can click on these links. If Google Doc isn't working for you, then just look up the case, okay? Go ahead and look up the case. And, okay, here, one second. My puppy needs to go outside. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. Where are you going? What are you doing? Oh. Go outside. So um, so you can look it up on YouTube and then watch a video to get your information. So first thing you have to do is you have to pick a case. Now, remember, we did that in class and you should have already picked your case. So if you have it, you need to do that. OK, then once you've done that, you need to do the research for it. Right. So this I sent out. We talked about this. So who's involved? Who are the two parties involved? What happened? Give a kind of summary of what happened. Where and when did it happen? OK, so where? So what state, what city, um, you know, what year? Um, how and why did it go to the Supreme Court? Let me close the store. How and why did it go to the Supreme Court? Okay, um, and stuff. So what's the controversy? So summarize, you know, and that's where the YouTube videos can be really, really helpful. Um, find some images about your case. 
So um, you could do this on Google. Um, I would just put in my case, go to Google Images, and um, you can definitely find some images. Anything interesting about it? You know, like remember when we did the Miranda Rights one? Um, we watched some of these in class, and we talked about this. Um, an interesting piece of information about the Miranda rights. The guy was retried, still found guilty, and then died when he, or was killed when he got out. So it's just, sometimes it's like, it's just interesting um, information, okay? So anything interesting. So it's part one, pick your case, and then give kind of that background info, which you can do through YouTube videos or doing research online. Then you need to talk about the actual part at the Supreme Court, okay? So, um, what happened once it actually got to the Supreme Court? What was the ruling? Um, include both sides of the arguments. What was the defense arguing? What was the prosecution arguing? This link is really helpful for getting the Supreme Court case part of it. So part one's more the background getting to the Supreme Court. Part two is like once it's actually at the Supreme Court. What's happening? Um, what is both sides arguing? And then what was the major decision? Okay. Why is this a landmark case? When we say a landmark case, we mean historical, we mean groundbreaking, we mean defining in society. So why, um, why is this decision important? How does it impact us? When we say it's a landmark case, we mean it impacts us. So how does it impact us? So that's part two. And then part three, what do you think? Um, do you agree with the decision? Do you not? Um, do you feel like they got it right? They got it wrong? Um, would you side more with the majority opinion? So that would mean the ruling or the minority opinion, maybe the dissenting opinion, people who didn't agree. Um, and I would want to see about a paragraph, um, two paragraphs total, you know, okay, and you could do it in bullet points or a couple sentences for each one. So you take all this information once you've done research and then you present it, okay? So there's a couple ways you can present it. You can do a video, a Prezi, uh, a Wiki or a Tumblr. Um, you could do PowerPoint or Google Slides. So if Google's not working for you, you could do like a Word PowerPoint or you could do a Google Slide. To me, this would be the easiest. So personally, I would do like a Google Slide or a PowerPoint. So, and then you present your information. So the way I would do it is, um, and stuff is I would do an intro slide. So put the name of my case, put a picture, you know, put my name on it. Slide one, I would do part one, right? I would put um, the background information, slide two, then I would do about the Supreme Court decision. And I would even put the questions that I'm supposed to answer and then the answers underneath them. That makes it really easy for me to grade, um, to know that you've met those requirements. I would have an image or two on each slide to meet that three image requirement or more. Um, and then the third slide I would do then my opinion, right? Do I agree with the Supreme Court or do I not agree? Why? Okay. Again, if Google Docs is not working for you, you can do um, a Word doc presentation. So a PowerPoint um, would be fine. Okay. Be sure that all parts, parts one, two, and three are in your presentation. Okay. Questions. Questions. Okay. So this should be repetitive, what we've done in class um, and stuff, but the goal is to give you lots of time. And this is a project that is truly independent because you're all gonna pick different cases, right? Okay, so I'm gonna stop recording here um, and stuff and then I'll give some time to work. If you have specific questions and you're watching this playback, um, feel free to email me. Um, feel free to come to small group on Monday. Um, you can email me, send me a message and remind Canvas. Um, I'll, I'm trying to get back to everybody. Um, and just like you, I'm just trying to get back on track. So this is not a new assignment. This is an assignment I gave you before, right? This all started. So this isn't additional work, okay? And then we'll pick up on Monday, um, or I guess next Tuesday when we meet, we'll start with module three, lesson three. Please make sure that you are paying attention to, again, what is past due and when it's closing, because I've adjusted all the due dates, okay? But there is now a new closing deadline. So just making sure that if you didn't get anything in from module three, lesson one, that you're gonna get those in. Module three, lesson two, that was due before this all started. We completed it in class, but again, giving you that additional time to get it in. And then the Supreme Court case project's worth a lot of points. So this is gonna be a really good way. If your grade's struggling, if you're kind of fell off the bandwagon, get back on and then the rest of the quarter can go really smooth for you, okay? So I'm gonna stop recording.